Well, in continuing this series of entry-level reloading tips, Seth Swerzyk from Hornady is my guide to getting off on the right foot, and we are ready to continue the process of building ammunition. This time, it's dropping the powder charge. Right, so to start with powder, you have to start with your bullet. You go through the reloading manual, you'll find what cartridge and what bullet you're shooting, and look at the available list of propellants. Then you'll make your selection. Now there's a lot of reasons to get into reloading if you want to increase the performance of your firearm, but there's nothing wrong as a novice to simply duplicating factory velocity. And that's what we're going to do here. So we've got some CFE 223. We're going to start at a charge that's well below maximum, but still give us that factory velocity we're looking for. Well, now it's time to head to the bench. In a six millimeter arc, factory 105 to 110 grain ammo is going to be running about 2750 feet per second. You can see here for CFE 223, that's going to require a charge of about 30 grains. Well, obviously step one is to fill the hopper with your propellant. And here's a quick tip that Seth passed to me. Take a piece of painter's tape and write down the specific propellant. That way you'll save yourself some confusion later on. John, I know it's a little tip, but it'll save you from yourself. Well, the next step is to set up the metering insert to drop our specific grain weight of the propellant. And that's a matter of trial and error, utilizing the grain scale that came with the kit. Well, setting up the dispenser is about as straightforward as it gets. It's literally a matter of throwing a charge, weighing it, pouring it back in the hopper, and then making an adjustment to the metering device throw another charge and weigh it. We're getting pretty close. Huh? We're still about two grains off. Now this powder measure is volumetrically filled. So if you want a consistent powder charge, the speed and consistency that you operate that handle is going to give you more consistent throws. Throwing the handle is one of those nuanced things to this. It's cathartic to many people and it becomes a rhythm. Every reloader does it differently. It looks like we're getting pretty close right there. Yep. 29.7, that's in the ballpark. That's a good charge right there. Now that we've got this powder measure set throwing the correct charge, there's a couple different ways you can get it into the cartridge case. Now if you want to control things to the nth degree, you can deliberately set your charge weight up below of what your target is, and then use a trickler and trickle it up on the scale to the exact tenth of a grain. Now in our case, this is a spherical powder. It meters really consistently and we can dispense right from the measure into the cartridge case. So John, you're up. All right. So I've got all of the cases moved to the back of the tray as you can see and I'm going to drop the charge straight into the case. Now once it's in there, it's going to move to the front of the tray and that way when they've all made it to the front of the tray, I know that they all have a charge in them. Well, there they are, and I'll do a quick visual inspection just to make sure there's powder in all of them. Can't be too sure. A full transcript of this reloading tip and links to all the tools we've shown you is available at shootingusa.com.